Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my The Collector series of 2023 where I go through my entire collection and I show you everything I own and then I do a declutter. Just get rid of the stuff that's no longer making any sense in my collection and today we are doing bronzers, blushes and face palettes. So let's jump in. I, I have quite a lot of things to go through. <laughs> And like I said, this is part number two of this series this year. I will always leave my playlist down below where you can see all of my other declutters, including the one I did about a week ago and also the ones that I've done these past couple of years because this is not my first rodeo. Every year I do a declutter series and this is part two and part three is coming in a couple of days and there's going to be five parts in total. I've already filmed them so I already know the outcome of all of this but yeah, just a quick disclaimer. Yes, I do have a lot of makeup. No, you're not meant to keep up with me. It is just this is what I do for a living. This is my job to review makeup and I do get rid of a lot of stuff every year that either I did didn't like or that I fell in out of love with or that quite honestly is old and the things that are unused I do give away either in giveaways or to charity some things that are new but I'm not keeping in my collection I give away to friends and neighbors and things that are old I'm just throwing away and no I do not give away used makeup to my subscribers this video is actually part of my 12 days of Christmas that I'm having here on my channel where I upload every day from December 1st until December 12th and I will have a giveaway attached to each and every one of those videos I will put the info about that one in a pinned comment down below. I do tend to close these giveaways a little bit quicker though since I'm running one each day for the 12 days of Christmas so make sure to sign up uh, the day that you're basically seeing this. If it's closed the link will tell you that you can no longer enter the giveaway. Also I will pick a winner and I will email them through the email address that you're giving in this giveaway form pretty much after the giveaway has ended. So make sure to check your mails because if somebody doesn't answer me fairly quickly, I will just pick a new winner because I need to keep the ball rolling. There's a lot of giveaways going on, but let's jump in to this declutter thing. Don't forget to subscribe if you like declutters because there are more coming, but let's go in. Um, <laughs> I think this is the declutter that I need the most. The one with like just blushes and bronzers and like face palettes honestly this is kind of madness um i really do not use or need all of these i feel like this year has just been the year of blushes and i love a good blush i really do it's one of my absolute favorite makeup products to to buy to try to wear um so i'm just gonna organize this a little bit and we are gonna start with bronzers and end with blushes and then face palettes. And I think I'm going to divide them into like creams and powders as well. But yeah, let's let's see if we can start with bronzers. They're, they're under here somewhere. These are just my bronzers. And trust me, I am as shocked as you are. <laughs> Let me see if I can put something on the side where we can put some declutters. Because there are some things that I immediately know I don't want to keep. Both the BH Cosmetics Full Heat Bronzer and the Lottie London Bronzer, both of these, I don't love them. This one, what is, this is not even a bronzer, goodbye. This one, the MAC one, I think it's like the Radiance, uh, Radiant Skin Finish. Mine smells. And someone told me that a bunch of these had gone bad and you could replace them and get like a new one, but like, this isn't good enough for me to replace it. The only thing that's really nice about this one is the packaging. So I'm just going to declutter it. Um, here's the Colourpop one in Avila Beach. It's too light for me. Let's get rid of it. These I have mentioned. These are from LH Cosmetics. I have two different shades. Both of these are really pretty on the skin. If you like a super sheer bronzer, but I don't. So I'm going to declutter these because they're a little bit too sheer for me. This one is from the Moira one. This is the uh, Sun Glow Face and Body Bronzer in Summer Soul. I don't love it. It's a little bit too glowy for me. So I am going to get rid of it. This one is pretty old and I haven't used it in a bit. This was limited edition last summer, I think. Or was it the summer before? I don't remember. It's from Fenty Beauty. It's that like putty bronzer that they released. It's really pretty on the skin, but everyone got it broken because it wasn't... I'm guessing they didn't ship test it, but it's pretty, but I'm going to get rid of it because it's discontinued and I, I I don't need to keep it. Same with this one. This is the cream bronzer. Oh, this is not it. This is one of these from 
BH Cosmetics. It's a little bit too light, again, to be perfect color for me, what I prefer in my bronzers. I don't love it. I have other cream bronzers I love more, so we are gonna get rid of it. I actually really like the ColourPop cream bronzer. We are gonna keep this one. Can you tell how much I've used this one? This one is the I'll Bet Super Shock bronzer. I also have a couple of cream bronzers here I really love. The Charlotte Tilbury one. I have it in medium. Absolutely love it. We're gonna keep it. I really do enjoy the ABH one. I think I have the golden one. Golden tan. Really enjoy that one. We're gonna keep it. Um, which else are like cream bronzers? I love the Soul Body one. I have the medium one. Really love it. We're gonna keep it. I also really love... Oh, this isn't the right one. Oh, here it is. The Makeup Revolution cream bronzer. Absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for an affordable one, absolutely love it. There are some other cream bronzers here. This one is the one from um, Makeup Revolution. I like this duo, but I don't love it as much as I like. The color of this one isn't as good as the color in the other one, you can tell. I like the warm bronzer, but this one wasn't perfect for me. So I'm keeping this one and I'm gonna get rid of this duo. I really like this one. This is from Tarte. I haven't used this in a bit. I'm looking forward to using this again. This is the duo with a bronzer and a blush. It's actually really nice. It is in Pink Sands and Seychelles. I'm looking forward to using this one again. We're gonna keep that one. What do we have here? Oh, here's the Ace Beauté uh, uh, cream bronzer uh, like quad. I think this is really good if you're doing makeup on more skin tones. But as you can see, I've just been blending the two lighter ones. I'm gonna get rid of it. Even though I like the formula, it's just unnecessary for me to keep stuff that's like not my, my tone when I have so many things. This is the Juvia's Place one. I don't... Oh, oh, that escalated quickly. I don't know if you can see, but it is sparkly. And I don't see the sparkle that much when I just use this on my, like, on my face and up on my cheekbones. But if I use this in my forehead or on my jawline, it I look like a Christmas bobble. I did not notice that the first time I used it, but yeah, the sparkles are really there. So I like the formula otherwise. I just don't love the sparkles. I'm actually going to get rid of that one. This is a powder bronzer. This is a cream. This one is from... Fenty and this is in macchiato. I think yes, this is the cream bronzer. It's very cool tone I like the formula, but this color only works for me when I'm contouring But there are times when I do need a cool tone contour So I'm gonna keep it because I do reach for it every now and then <sighs> Who knows my struggles with the Kosas bronzer? I don't understand what's going on with Kosas. They're just <laughs> I'm sniffing this one. It smells like old french fries frying oil it's just i don't understand i was gonna say why but i don't i don't understand why it smells so bad i, I feel it on my brushes i feel it on my skin i just don't love the smell of this it's also very glowy which is pretty but i, I think this is the second one i'm trying of kosas and it still smells funky i don't think it's my journey this one launched this year, and I really like this one. This is the Pat McGrath bronzer. I have mine in Absolute Secret, Bronze Dawn. Wow, that is a small print. This is in Bronze Dawn. This is a matte bronzer. This reminds me a lot of this one, the Charlotte Tilbury matte bronzer. They're both, like, kind of... I don't want to say sheer because they're not sheer, but they're not fully opaque, but they're very buildable and they're very finely milled and they're just super beautiful on the skin. So I love this one, but I also want to keep the one from Charlotte Tilbury. I have this one in medium. I think this one is beautiful. So I like both of these and I think they're pretty similar to each other. So if you have one and you were thinking about the other, you definitely don't need both of them. This is also really beautiful. And this also, this is like a drugstore version of those two that I just talked about. It is sheer but buildable. It has a very nice neutrally bronze color. I have mine in... I think this is like a... Where do I have the color? Maybe I took it off, but I'm pretty sure I have like the medium one or the light medium or something like that. This is a beautiful bronzer. I don't love it as much as the Charlotte Tilbury and the Pat McGrath, but they're similar enough so that if you were balling on a budget, I think you can get this one instead. This one I tried in a recent video, basically just trying out products to see if I'm gonna keep it or not. This is from M Cosmetics. It's in summer and I wasn't wowed by this product, so we are gonna declutter it. I do have the Contra Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's good, but not great. And then I have the one from Tarte that I actually like better. 
I have this one in soft bronze. And then I have the one from Makeup Revolution. I have this one in light, which is not the right color for me. I like the formula, but the color is weird. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the one from... Can you tell how this one looks? This is the one from e.l.f. I don't like the packaging. I do think that this is a nice formula, but why does it look like that? Is it supposed to look like that? Wait, I'm going to keep these two. Wait, let, let us examine this one. Is it... Ew, that looks... You know what? Let's get rid of that one. It looks funky. It looks like it's about to escape on its own. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I love the Rare Beauty bronzer sticks. I feel like everybody loves these. I have it in two colors. That is the darker one in Happy Soul. And I also have the one in... Um, it's Power Boost, I think. Yeah, Power Boost. I also really love the one from... Uh, Tarte. I feel like this is fairly similar, maybe not as emollient on the skin. I have this one in Sundown, which is pretty much um, like the darker one that I have from uh, from Tarte. Let me actually compare the two shades to each other so it makes sense. You can see they're pretty similar in color. This one is slightly uh, darker. This one is like in between this one and Power Boost. If you were looking for something that's like in between these two colors, I really like the Tarte one too, so we are keeping that. This one from Merit is probably the best product I've tried from Merit, but I don't like it as much as my other bronzer sticks, so we're actually going to get rid of it, which probably tells you a lot about how I feel about Merit, I guess, when I'm decluttering the thing I say is the best. This one is from uh, Gloss Gods. It's a liquid bronzer. Uh, I think the formula is okay, but the color, none of the colors were good for me, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This is a powder one, and this one is from... This is the all-in-one palette from Makeup Forever. I do like this one and it serves a purpose so far. So I'm going to keep it one more year because I've, like, I've kept this one and I've used it when I've gone like on vacations and stuff. So I'll see if I'll bring that on any, ooh, if, on any more vacations. Wait, let me clean this one out and we can fill it up because I think it is a good product. I just need to make sure that I'm getting use out of it. Okay, so those are the cream bronzers, and we'll put those to the side for a bit. And these are the powder bronzers we have decided that we are keeping. Uh, I talked about this in last uh, episode of my Declutter series, and this is the Contour Palette by Kaleidos. This under eye powder is wonderful, and I have it in a single as well, but this one is actually one of the few cool tone uh, like contour powders I have, and I think the formula of this is beautiful, and the packaging is wonderful, so we are keeping that one. This is the uh, Ofra and Samantha March uh, bronzer duo. Samantha March is one of my closest friends, and even though I don't necessarily, well, at all, use really <laughs> Ofra on my channel, Samantha is still one of my best friends, and I am keeping this because I love her and I want to keep this for nostalgia. I also have the House Labs bronzer. This is one of those bronzers that I have not used enough, so I'm going to keep it for one more year, and we'll see. I also have the Hula bronzer. I have... It's this even used? I think it's used once. I feel like this is one of those that it got a lot of hype because there wasn't a lot of good bronzers on the market. But now I feel like there are bronzers that I like more than this. And that also has a color that I like more than that one. This one is beautiful. It's the uh, Nabla Skin Bronzing in Ambra, but it's getting to be very old. So I'm actually going to declutter it. This is my most used, most loved bronzer in my collection. Ooh, let me show you. Look at that. Look at the pen. The pen does not lie. This is how you know. This one is in Private Island. It's a beautiful formula. I absolutely love it. And this color is wonderful. I also really love the Give Beauty Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. This is in Toasted. I've used this so much. I think it is an amazing product. I really love it. Expect to see this in my uh, yearly favorites. I also really love the Sigma bronzer. I've used this a lot as of late. This is a medium. It's also one of those matte, finely milled, buildable formulas. Really beautiful. I love this one, but is Jaclyn Cosmetics even around? This is a beautiful bronzer for me when I'm a little bit um, tan. This one is in Tan Lines. 
but I think I'm gonna declutter it. I don't even know if Jaclyn Cosmetics is around anymore. And honestly, I've been using the Fenty one when I've been tan instead of this one, so I am gonna get rid of it. I have the Jason Wu uh, bronzer palette or like contour palette. I think we can get rid of this one. It's nice, but not amazing. The uh, This one I actually just recently got into my collection. I haven't really used it that much. It's from uh, Gerard Cosmetics. It's their darker um, face palettes. I want to use this one a little bit more. And then I have the Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo. This one is in medium, I think. It doesn't say... Oh yeah, here it says, because I can't read. Medium. It's a really nice one. It comes with a more like clayey, neutrally red one and a warmer yellowy golden one. I think this one is really good, so we're keeping that one. Let me clean this one out and we can see how many uh, we decided to get rid of. Okay, so these are the amount of products that I am keeping in my collection when it comes to bronzers. Now let's see how many I'm getting rid of. Okay, there we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is it fifteen? Sixteen? Seventeen? Eighteen? Nineteen? Twenty? Twenty-one? Twenty-two? Was that correct? Was that correct? It didn't feel correct. Hold. Yeah, twenty-two. Okay, that was correct. Twenty-two bronzers are gone, and you know what? <laughs> it's for the better. I found another bronzer. This one is from Trixie. Um, I think that this formula is okay, but nothing more. So I'm actually going to get rid of that one too. And I'll just count this towards the blushes so we can get a correct count. So I have a bunch of blushes and we are going to start with my powder blushes and then we'll move into the cream ones because there, there is a lot. Like I said, this has been, this has been a blush year, okay? Let's just start and let's uh, get into it. There are some blushes here from uh, Game Beauty and I really, really, really like this formula, but the only color that I've been really enjoying a lot is actually this nudie one and the red one, this one. So I'm gonna keep those two and I'm gonna get rid of the other two colors. Maybe I can start like an indie corner over here. Maybe we can start with that. These are the new blushes from Kaleidos. You can see these just came out and were super light. And honestly, I don't know if any of these truly showed up on my skin tone. So I am I think I'm just going to hold on to the colors I already have from them. And I'll get rid of some of this, these newer ones. I do have the Chucky and Glam Light blush here. I have the old version that only has one color in both of them. I like this color, but I don't like it as much as some of the other blushes that Glam Light has. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one too. Let me see if we can get into some indie. This one is... This is so beautiful. This is, I think, Persimon. Persimon by uh, M Cosmetics. My favorite product from the brand. It is a beautiful, baked, glowy, but not shimmery orange blush. We're definitely keeping it. It goes in the indie drawer. I also have a couple of these from Udensai. I have two matte ones. That one is matte. And... This one is a shimmery one. I have two of the mattes and two of the shimmery. This is also a matte. I have the two matte oranges and the two shimmery ones. And I got rid of the two uh, matte pink ones. But I'm keeping all of these. This one is my favorite. It is in Sienna Luster. This beautiful warm peach color. So yeah, I'm going to save all of these because I actually use these quite a lot. And I really, really like them. Then we have, oh, here's the ghost face one. This is a bright red. It's a little bit too dark and cool tone for my preference. So that's not the glam light blush we are going to keep. I also have a Vive one here. This one is beautiful. This is in Piazza. We're definitely keeping that one. This one I'm getting rid of. I like the color. It is like a yellow, but this formula is not my favorite. This formula is too matte and almost too pigmented to be able to get away with a color like this. So we're going to get rid of that. 
here is a blush that I really like. I actually really like this one. The matte pink, the one from Strawberry Shortcake and Glam Light. And I think I'm gonna keep this because I don't have any other bright like colors like this in my collection. So I think that this is the one that I'm gonna keep from Glam Light. This one I'm gonna get rid of is the Moira one. It is like a highlighter blush, but it's just too big. And I have colors like this in better packaging and just a little bit more refined of a um, formula. Let's see if we can get through some more indie and just fill up this this little thing here with like indie blushes that we're actually keeping. These are from Half Magic. I don't love the packaging, but I really like the formula. These are like putty. This should, probably should have been in my cream blushes. Maybe I'll put them in my cream blushes afterwards. But it does go on like a powder on the skin though. It is like a little bit more of a drier putty. Really beautiful. I have two colors. Oh, the colors are actually on here. They're the Cheek Fluff in Magic Brownie and Pink Mushroom. And we are going to be saving those two. What else do we have here that's a little indie? We have these from Melt. These like B ones, these are so beautiful, but do I need to keep these? They're getting a little bit older. Maybe I'll save just the 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 orangey caramelly one for just for reference and for nostalgia. Because sometimes you, you, you didn't need to get rid of some of your like older things. So let's get rid of that one and let's actually put the Oh, that pile on the side here. I do have this one from Unearthly Cosmetics. It is a bright pink. I don't use this one a lot. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. These are the blushes that I have kept from Kaleidos. It is this beautiful a brown. It is this beautiful like coral. And then it is a darker red. This is a red that works on me. So we are going to keep these instead. Oh my god, this is already a mess. Hello? This is from Be Perfect. I love this one, but this packaging is like absolutely bad. This is nice, but I like the one from M Cosmetics more, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this one. I have an old one from Nabla. Again, this one is getting to be a little bit old. It is beautiful. It is in truth. It's a stunning, stunning formula, but it's getting to be a little bit old, so I'm actually gonna get rid of it. I have not used it for a bit, and I love the Natasha Denona Duo Glows, but again, I have not used them in a bit, and they're getting to be a little bit old, and I have other things that I use more. These used to be my like absolute favorites. I still love the formula, but it's time to get rid of some older ones when newer things that you love are like coming into your collection. These are from Lethal Cosmetics. These are their glowy blushes that they came out with last year. These are so good. I have three of the shades here. We're definitely keeping these. They're so beautiful. We are so keeping them. Do I have any other like, oh, Let's get rid of this one from Jacqueline. Again, I love an orange, but this one is getting a little bit old and I have other oranges that I prefer over this one. Here's another one that I'm saving out of nostalgia. Again, this is the blush duo that my friend uh, Samantha March did with Ofra. I'm keeping it because I love Samantha and I want to be keeping it for like, I don't want to say reference, but like she's a friend. I want to keep it for memories. This is Genesis from Melt. I absolutely love it. And I also love this one. This is Lynx. This is actually a highlighter, but I wear it as a blush. And this is Lynx, one of the most beautiful neutral blushes in the world. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. We're saving those in the in the little melt pile here as well. I think that this is turning out to be a good like indie corner. Oh, I have the Give Me Glow blush. This one is in Hey Honey. I need to use this one a little bit more. I think that it's a really nice warm mustard color. We are going to save it and we're going to see how I feel about it in one year because I have not used it enough. I think none of these are like indie indie. So let's put the indie one to the side and let's see if we can start with some mainstream. Let's start with some of these from um, Benefit. I have Willa. Krista, oh, this is so pretty, Terra, and I also have the orangey one, Butterfly. I really like this formula, I really like these colors. These are the four that I decided to keep, and I am going to keep them one more round because I think they're beautiful. I also have the Nude Venus from Pat McGrath Labs, absolutely stunning color. We're keeping that one as well. I'm actually finally going to get rid of this one. I've had it for a really long time. I actually haven't like reached for it. And I think that if I were to use a color like that today, I would do Krista instead. It's a little bit more of a refined shimmer. So we are actually going to be keeping that and getting rid of this one. This one from Sephora collection. I didn't like it at all. I don't know if you can see, but there's like actual glitter particles in here. 
so we're not doing that one this one is from charlotte tilbury this is the pillow talk uh, cheek to cheek I haven't used this enough, but I, I want to be using it a little bit more. So we're going to be keeping it. I love this one. This is Taj Mahal by NARS. Look at that. Really beautiful. Let's keep it. This is some Colourpop. Let's do that in a bit. We have the Kiss of Copper from Bare Minerals, the Blonzers. Really beautiful. And I love actually these even more, the highlighting uh, blushes. I have two colors. I have Mauve and I have the Peach one. These are a little less pigmented, but all three of these are really, really, really pretty. And I'm actually going to be keeping all three of them, especially these highlighting blushes. I have been using a lot. I have two colors of the Persona blushes. I don't love this like just plastic white packaging, but I love the blushes. I have Terracotta, I think it's called that. Yeah, beautiful, like soft matte blush. And then I have another one of these pinks. This is in Bubble. So I'm going to keep this one as well. And now I have two of those pinky blushes. I think that's uh, good for my collection. And then we have this one from Give Beauty. This is the Flirty Talk uh, Blush Duo. I think this is pretty new to my collection. I want to keep this one a bit more and see how much use I get out of it. The Makeup Forever. This is the Lava one. I think it's maybe Hot Lava. Yeah, Hot Lava. This is again an orangey shimmery blush, which is my favorite blush color to wear. So we're going to keep that one as well. This one I haven't used in a really hot minute. It is a beautiful one though. It is from Clinique. It is the Coral Pop. I have not used it in a hot minute. I'm actually going to get rid of that one. And we have the MAC one. Oh, I used to love these so much. Extra Dimension Blush in just a pinch. Have not used this one in forever. I'm actually going to get rid of it. This feels weird because I just, I have too many to use because like, look at this one. Lawless in Watermelon. I love this one. It is so pretty. It is like a soft flush on the cheeks in a really nice warm pink. And I really love this one, but I haven't reached for it enough because I have so many other things in my collection here. And it's just like, ah, I don't want that for me. I want to reach for that one. Oh, I have the Milani one. Illuminoso. This is actually pretty new to my collection. I think I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit just to get some more use out of it. Oh, here's another one of the Glam Light and... Uh, blush duos. This one is the Scooby-Doo one that came out this year. I think I'm gonna hold on to the ones I have and get rid of this one. It's pretty, but I like the other ones more. Am I making a good decision? I think I am. Should we call Sigma mainstream or indie? I mean, technically they are indie, so let's actually go with putting these in the indie pile. These are two of the glowy blushes that they came up with. It is Tiger Lily and Bronze Star. And I am going to be keeping those. I'm putting that in the indie pile. I have some other things here from Colourpop. Usually I have like a separate Colourpop like packaging, but I don't think I'm going to do that this year. This is from BH Cosmetics. Look at this. It's a beautiful like corally orangey shimmery blush definitely keeping that one. I got that this year. It's so stunning. So we have some stuff here from Colourpop. First of all, we have these cream blushes. Um, I didn't like this formula. I tried to make this one work, but I, I, there are so many better cream formulas on the market. Let's actually get rid of that one. And then we have this orangey shimmery blush that they came up with. It's almost so retrograde. This is so retrograde. No, it's not. That was a highlighter. This is so retrograde. My bad. This is so retrograde, but you can tell. So retrograde is just warmer and more orangey. So I think I'm just going to keep so retrograde and actually get rid of this one. This one I have not used this entire year. This one is one of my favorite blushes of the year. This is the High School Musical blush. It is absolutely stunning. Then we have the blush from Alice in Wonderland. This is another pink, but this is softer and I think on me this just doesn't look up as bright as I want it to. This is the Powerpuff Girls one. This is a nice peachy one but I have not reached for it. This is the Colourpop. Is this a highlighter by the way? I think that this is the highlighter in the heart. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Am I gonna keep the blush too? No, I have the other red blush. I'll keep that one and then we have this brown one. Actually this is really nice. You know what, I'm going to keep that one. And we have a red one here, another red one. Let's see how similar this one is to playoffs. And then we have another red one. This is darker. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Let's actually put Colourpop in the mainstream. Um, mainstream thing. So let's look at these two blushes. How similar are they? They're definitely not similar like enough. But I 
feel like I kept a really red blush like this from Game Beauty. And this playoffs, I, I use this so much. I think I'm going to save that one and get rid of this one. Look at me. I feel very accomplished. Wait until you see my cream blushes. Okay, don't think too highly of me yet. You are not prepared. <laughs> this is like cream, liquid, and putty blushes. And this is madness. Like actual madness. Um, clearly cream blushes has been having a little bit of a moment this year. I do not need this. Nobody needs this. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind needs this. And I'm thinking, how am I going to do this? I'm thinking maybe we'll put some liquid ones in here. I really like this from Makeup Revolution. We're going to keep it. Uh, this one, the, the Pink SM Sunset. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Pink SM Sunset from Charlotte Tilbury. One of the best releases of this year. It's absolutely beautiful. This blush tape from Tarte, some people loved it. I thought it was too liquidy and too sheer. So I am going to get rid of that one. I really like the one from Juvia's Place. I think I have two and I kind of want to keep both of them. I feel like I have another one. If we find it, uh, oh, here it is. We have two. I want to keep both of them. This one is in Marigold and Coral Rose. And I love mixing these with highlighters. They're really beautiful and they are pretty much a dupe for... The rare beauty ones i have this one in virtue i also have the one in i think joy the one that everyone has yeah joy really pretty colors i'm actually going to keep um all of these i think they're beautiful i actually really really like this one the pillow talk matte blush one from uh, charlotte tilbury i got this one in pr i did not think i was gonna like it but you know what i really do and i'm gonna keep it i also kind of like this tinted love from charlotte tilbury this is more of a tint that you can use on your lips and on your cheeks. I actually kind of like this one too. So I'm actually going to keep both of these. I have not been using this one from um, Natasha Denona enough. It's a little bit sheer. But it is a kind of a nice formula if you want something like this. And I don't have a liquid blush in this kind of a color. So I am going to keep this one. I thought the one from Hindash was a little bit too pigmented. This one I don't use anymore. The Glossier one, I like the color, but this packaging is just so annoying. This Cheek Do by Colourpop, I tried to give it another chance this year, but it's just a really bad, greasy, lip glossy formula that lifts everything is not pigmented enough. This one there's nothing wrong with, but just isn't pigmented enough. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well, just because I have other things I love more. What is going on with these elf ones if you saw my blush uh, or like bronzer declutter you know that this elf one looked a little suspicious these are like separating and looking really weird we're we're gonna get rid of that one as well this blush tape from tarte this one it's the other kind of a problem you think it's gonna be this color no it is a dark red like liquid lipstick kind of a color it is very pigmented super hard to blend out and since I have this one, the one from Charlotte Tilbury, that actually gives me what I wanted this one to give me, I'm going to keep this one that's actually good, and I'm going to declutter this one that's, well, actually not. I also have this one from uh, Made by Mitchell. Again, I wanted to try, like, a fun color, but I don't think that this... The way that this formulation is made, it just looks a little weird on the skin. I do like mixing something like this, though, to make it a little bit more warm tones. I might keep this from mixing, actually. It might serve a purpose in my collection for mixing. I do have some of these liquid blushes from Gloss Gods. I think for me, the main problem with these is that they're not pigmented enough for my liking. But if you like a... If you've ever tried this one and you think that these are just too pigmented, these from Gloss Gods are liquid blushes that are not that pigmented. So I'm actually going to keep this one that's more my type of color that is like a peach. It's called Bay. I'm going to keep this and I am going to declutter the other ones. We have some stick ones from ABH. Oh, I don't like this brush at the end. Nobody's using that. So I have this one that is in Latte. That's actually a little bit too, like, not exactly what I like. And this one is in Bubblegum. So this is the one that's like a shimmery pink. This at least has some shimmer in it. So I'm going to keep Bubblegum because I actually do like that one. And we're going to get rid of the Latte one. 
we have the Fenty Beauty cream one. This is in Fuego Flush. Love this one. It is an orange cream. We are saving it. Love this formula from the Nessa Myricks, the Balm ones. I have Bellini and Jubilee. These are really wonderful and I need to be using these more. So we're definitely keeping them. I really like this formula from Floresis. This is in Peony Rosy Blush. This is in number seven, which is a really nice, uh, almost like a corally terracotta it's 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 honestly it's a really nice formula so we are going to keep that one as well it has a little bit of a sheen to it too to it too <laughs> yes and i only have one color so i'm going to keep that color i have this one in sundown from melt this is like a really nice brown shimmer i actually really love this color i feel like melt does really nice like brown blushes i feel like that's one of their strong suits this one from say really like this one i've tried a couple of products from say and i think this is the one that i like the most it is the glow sculpt in peach glow it is a little bit more of a a drier putty formula but that also means that it works really good with a brush as well which is really nice and this is more of a pinky peach it's a really nice color as well i'm all all kinds of messed up this one i'm gonna declutter from trixie this one is a little bit too sheer for my liking it's a nice orange but i have so many orange blushes that i like so i'm gonna get rid of that one i'm also gonna get rid of the one from i hate this packaging it's so heavy and it's so ugly it looks like something that's not done it's from simi hayes and it's the canyon blush one that is a little bit this this one is a little bit more of a i don't want to say dry putty but if i say dry putty you know what i mean and a little bit like just glossy glowy balmy i don't get this product i don't love it enough to keep it honestly and i feel the same about this one there's nothing wrong with this one this is the grease rizzo blush the color is honestly kind of okay but i wish it was a little bit more emollient uh, and the packaging i mean it's i don't know i wish it was cardboard honestly i think that's cuter then we have the Lottie London cream blush. That's one of those color changing. Oh, well, you know what it is. It's like a black that changes to pink. Both of these are okay. But since the packaging is just a little bit cheapy and they're not colors that I normally reach for, I'm actually going to declutter both of them. Okay, we have the this one. I wanted to love this one. It's like one of those like poof blushes. The thing with this one, it feels very similar to the Tarte blush tapes it is too liquidy and too sheer it's okay but it is a little liquidy and it just lifts foundation and it doesn't give enough pigment to warrant all the extra job that it kind of brings these are the finding ferdinand and khaki uh, collaboration that they did i have two of the colors some of them i i used two of the colors that were like the mid colors not the lightest and i think it's not the darkest either so what i have is ole ole i cannot pronounce italian anymore apparently an aperitif i think these are really beautiful these look glowy on the skin without actually being sticky and lifting your foundation and sliding off your face i think the formulation is actually pretty good and again from someone that has more combo oily skin. I'm gonna keep both of these. The ones that I didn't use, the ones that are lighter and the ones that were darker, I've already uh, given away actually. This one is from Merit. This is the Flush Balm Cheek Color in Terracotta. I haven't used this one enough. So I'm gonna keep this one because I wanna use it more and I wanna see how I feel about it. But so far I'm not overly impressed by it, but it's not horrible. These are the glowy like highlighter blush hybrids by iconic london i have this one in hot stuff which is like the corally gold and i have this one in playtime which is like the pink the pink gold these are some of the best products i've tried this year do not sleep on this product they're absolutely amazing they're like a one of these like putty glowy formulas they're really really beautiful and I really, really feel like if you like putty formulas, this is a really refined and nice formula. And we're definitely keeping them. I hope they come up with more colors. They do have a couple of these in like a highlighting formula uh, that are not do not have a base color. But I actually prefer these that have more of a um, like a blush hybrid formula kind of a thing to it. 
I wish they come up with more colors. These are beautiful. Let me put these in my little mainstream bucket over here. I have all of the Sigma cream blushes and I don't even know if I've used all of these and I definitely don't need to keep all of them. This one is unused so I'm gonna give this one away. This one is also unused. Oh there's a fiber in though but it's unused so i'm gonna give them away i've used these two colors really like this formula and um, this is in coral dawn and corderosa i actually think i'm only gonna say one because like you can tell i have a lot of blushes and i do usually prefer a blush that has shimmer to it and this is like it's a beautiful peach but it has no sheen to it and i prefer a sheeny blush Okay, so here is all my Super Shock blushes by Colourpop. This one is a, a like a reddish one. It doesn't really have any shimmer to it. So I'm going to get rid of it because I prefer the Super Shocks with shimmer in them. We have a couple of different ones. I do love this one. This is in All Laced Up. It is a beautiful peachy pearly one. We're going to keep that one. This one is really pretty too. It is from the Pinkerbell collection. This one is in Magic Moon. I also really love this one. So again, can you tell I have a type? I think this one is the one that's a drop of a hat. I was going to say Mad Hatter, but that's not the one. This is really pretty too. Did I need all of these? Maybe I can keep this one and get rid of that. Oh no, no, sorry. No, they're all staying. They're all... <laughs> They're all staying. I think I can get rid of this one though. It's from the Snow White. It's like more of a pinky one. And I also think I can get rid of this one from Snow White that is like a darker of a almost burgundy one. And I also think this one that is more of a pink. So I'm getting rid of the Snow White ones. This one. It's nice, but I can just use the peach one. And then we have, this is No Way. Let's get rid of this one then. It's like a peachy pink and I can save the other ones and I'll save this one. The one that is more of a bronzy one. It's called Voile. This is actually really pretty. Okay, I'll save that one. See, look at me. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing stuff here. So let's see if we can get some more of this stuff in here. Okay, I think that this is gonna have to do with the blushes. I'm very excited to have them in just a, a smaller compartment like this because honestly, they have been <sighs> taking over my life and I'm not even exaggerating. Oh, and the, of course, the liquid ones over here as well. I feel like this is good. Let's see how many I get rid of. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. Fifty-seven. 58. 58 blushes. Wow. That feels very good because my blushes have truly been the part of my collection that has been overflowing the most. It's, as you can tell, it's been crazy. Very excited. <laughs> excited about that okay let's get into face palettes we are finally diving into some face palettes and yeah i'm counting these palettes from natasha known as face palettes but we are gonna dive into all of these and see if there's any that i actually want to keep because honestly face palettes are hmm is this true i think face palettes are at least top three or maybe bottom three depending on how you see it bottom three makeup category like it's one of the products I like the least to bring out and use. So when I reorganize my makeup collection, I need to make sure that the face palettes that I actually keep 
that I find a way of storing it so I can use it more. Because there are some things here that are truly amazing. I just need to use it. Okay, I'm gonna put a basket here on the side that we can like keep some stuff in. Okay, let's start with one that I know I wanna keep. And this is the My Dream Cheek Trio by Natasha Nona. This one I actually reach for quite a lot and I really do enjoy. I love all three of these formulas. They work with my fingers. This is like cream to powder formulas. This is more of a balm. Work with my fingers, work with a brush, even with a sponge on this one. So I really, really like this one. It definitely gets to stay. Oh, this is the Heather Austin Unearthly Resurgence Cheek Duo. This is very well used. I, I mean, I love Heather and I love Unearthly Cosmetics. We're definitely keeping this one. It's absolutely stunning. This is one that I used to love a lot. You can see it's pretty well used. It is the Love Glow Cheek Palette by Natasha Nona. have not been reaching for this a lot, and I think it's because I haven't been into cheek palettes all, all together, but also with pinks. I feel like I've been using other things. I might be time to let this one go, actually. We also have this one. This one is new. They also I have another... I feel like I have another cheek... Oh, it's right here. Uh, the... Surrender from uh, Unearthly. This is like a blush trio. I wish these were singles because I kind of only want this one. So I think I'm going to skip on this one and I'm going to keep the two duos that I have. There should be another duo here somewhere in this. Oh, here it is. I see it. I have two duos. This is the Get Groovy duo from this summer. And then I have the Devour Duo from this Halloween. I like the Unearthly Formulas a lot. I love these little duo compacts and I want to use them more. They're a little bit on the sparkly side. Um, so I need to find a good time to wear them when I'm into something more sparkly. This one is pretty cute, but I don't wear it enough. It's actually not bad quality at all. If you're looking for matte blushes at the drugstore, this one from Jason Wu is actually a pretty good one. I... It just says three blushes, but honestly, it's good quality. I just don't use matte blushes a lot. And when I do, I usually use my singles. This one is from Sugar Drizzle, but I don't review that brand anymore. So I'm just going to declutter that one. This one is the Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette by Bella Beauté Bar. One of the best releases of last year. And I still use this one and I love it. This is one of my favorite formulas when it comes to multi-chrome highlighters. I love this one. If you're looking for multi-chrome highlighters and you don't know where to start start here this is beautiful so we are definitely keeping it i even used it the other week it is absolutely stunning we have one from blend money cosmetics as well this is the noctilucent highlighter palette this is more sparkly this is more visibly sparkly on the cheeks but it's also a duochrome multi-chrome highlighter palette i personally prefer the oracle one but if you want visible super beaming almost sparkly wet looking on your cheeks. This is definitely it, the Noctilucent. I am gonna keep it. I love Blend Money Cosmetics. I wanna see if they come out with more stuff and I can compare it to this one in the future. Oh, I have some from um, Sigma here. So I have the Beauty and the Beast one. This is my favorite, I can tell you already. I have the Alice in Wonderland. This is a nice one, but I like the other one more because I feel like it has like, you can see it has two blushes. One that is a pink glowy and then there's like this terracotta orange. I also have the Cinderella one here that it's it's pretty much similar as well. I actually think I'm going to keep the Beauty and the Beast. One thing with Sigma is that they have a tendency of doing the same thing again and again, like the same color stories, but they do them well. Like they are beautiful. They are great quality, but it's, I kind of would like them to just venture out just a little bit more than what they're doing right here. I wonder what... Oh, these are the other glowy blushes, the new uh, bright ones from Little Cosmetics. Absolutely stunning. We're definitely keeping these. This is a beautiful formula. You saw that I kept these in the single blushes. And honestly, I should probably get single compacts for these and also for these. These are the ones that came out uh, with the um, second collab that they did with Teresa's Dead. And I don't know if I want to keep all of these. So I actually, you know what? I'm going to put these to the side and I'm going to order some different compacts for these so that I can get better utilization of these uh, and not have them in big palettes. I'm actually going to put this to the side. I'm keeping them, but I'm going to uh, have them in a different format. This is the Low Lights palette by, ugh, it says Alien Cosmetics. So this is before they changed their name to Unearthly Cosmetics. This is a beautiful formula, but I love having stuff in singles. And this is where I, I just never reach for this. It is stunning. If you love a 
highlight their palette this is a beautiful formulation just never never reach for it and i wish it was in singles and she did release some highlighters in singles and i will be doing a separate highlighter palette which is my highlighter singles or like highlighter video with my highlighter singles wow i am not making sense and technically this one could have been in that video but it's not <laughs> It is not. I do have this one from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is Blush Aesthetics. This is really beautiful, but I have not been using this palette enough. I am going to declutter it. Oh, I have the ones from Blend Money Cosmetics, the Bare Cheeks and the Juicy Cheeks. And I honestly think that both of these palettes are really good. I kind of wish I could have these in singles, but again, these are pretty new to my collection. So I am going to save these. I'm putting them in this one. I am going to save them basically to have them a little bit as reference, if we're going to be totally honest. Oh, here are more Little Cosmetics ones. I wonder if these are highlighters. No, this is the blush palette. Oh, I love this one. Look at this one. Coral orange and then a mustard yellow. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. We're definitely keeping it. And then I guess this is highlighters. This is technically should be in my highlighter declutter, but it's in my face palettes. This is great. These two palettes that I've done myself with the more warm shades. <sighs> I love these so much. Like, you have no idea. You can see this is well used. They're absolutely stunning. I should be using these more. They're such a good formula. Oh, this one, the Rick and Morty Highlighter Trio from Glamlight. This is also one of those like duochrome, multichrome formulas. Truly a really nice sparkly formulation. I think I have the one, yeah, the one from uh cosmic beauty the former cosmic uh, brushes they're now cosmic beauty they have a similar formulation they're not dupes they're not even the same colors but they're a little bit more high shine a little bit more sparkly honestly both of them are good quality and they're pretty new to my collection so i am gonna keep them uh oh and i have this one the pat mcgrath and bridgerton i have not used this one in a hot minute it's very pink. You know what I want to do? I think I'm going to get rid of this one and I want to buy a single highlighter instead. There's nothing wrong with this, but I have not used this a single time since last time. Okay, I have three blush palettes from Lunar Beauty. I have this one. That is the number... No, this is the first one, right? No, this is the nude person. Oh my god, I'm not making sense. So this is the second one. And I guess this is the nude one then? The first one. Yeah, it has the shimmery one. And then we have the full fantasy one. This one is stunning. I'm going to keep this one. The colors are more poppy. There are two shimmers in here. I honestly think that all three of these are great formulations. But these are mainly mattes. And this one has two shimmers and more poppy colors plus this neutral brown. And I actually really like that. So I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to get rid of these two. Even though they're great formulations, I think they're meant more for people who love all matte cheeks. Which I do not. Oh, this is so good. This is the LH Cosmetics Duo Dimension. Two shimmery blushes in like a peachy, corally orange. Super stunning. A really nice silky satin formula. We are keeping that one. Oh, I love this one. This is so nice. What is this officially called? This is the Love Gasm Face Palette. I, I really like this one. I think it's super beautiful. This needs to be used or needs to be used. To get the result that I want, I need to use a, either a stiffer brush or a brush that has natural bristles or at least emulating natural bristles. If you have a super silky, uh, just synthetic br bristles, it just will not pick up properly. I love this palette. I want to use it more. It's so beautiful. I'm trying to fit everything in here. Really like this one from Vive as well, but I have not been using this one a lot. It's great quality, but it's a little bland. So I think I like the one from Charlotte Tilbury more. I mean, if you could see the comparisons of like why I like the one from Charlotte Tilbury more. It's just a little bit more poppy. The colors are just a little bit more there and just fits my aesthetic a little bit more. I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. I love the colors. Oh, they're like a little bit more orangey poppy but they're both matte blushes pretty much so i'm actually going to get rid of it because i have so many orangey blushes that i love this is the ghoul light unearthly cosmetics highlighter palette that came out last halloween never used never used so i'm actually going to put this in my uh declutter pile i did an unboxing of this one and then i was just so busy that i never got around to use it it looks beautiful though so it hasn't been touched so i'm gonna put this in my giveaway pile that's where i'm putting it i don't know what i said before but i'm gonna give this one away 
it's untouched. This one is really beautiful. Uh, like the packaging is 10 out of 10. This is from Lunar Beauty. This is the Outer Dimension face palette. The inside has really, really good formulations, but I don't need a big palette like this. I actually, I don't do makeup on others anymore. And when I do, I tend to use their own complexion products. It's usually like me doing makeup on friends or stuff. It happens every now and then, but it's not that often. If I was still doing makeup on others, if I was still freelancing, this would have been amazing. I really hope though that one day he can make this into duos. I know that's very expensive to make smaller things like that, but I really hope that he's able to make these into duos or something because I feel like the formulation he has in this one is amazing. It's just that it's so big that's not perfect for me. And finally, I have the Natasha Denona face, uh, like face and eye palette. I have it in the one that she had for, uh, oh my god, this is so hard to see. The one that she had for Valentine's and then I have the dark one that she came out with. I think the formulations of these are beautiful and the reason why I saved these is because I love the formulations of the highlighter specifically in these. But you know what? This highlighter is the same formula according to me that came out in her, the trio that I showed you, this one. I feel like this is the same formulation. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these two because I don't use them and I don't need them. It's not the type of thing I'm after. If you love the idea of having eyeshadows and cheek products in the same packaging, let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with the quality of these, especially this one, but I don't like that. So I bought these to review and I can tell you the quality is wonderful, but now I'm gonna pass them along to someone else because it's just not for me. So let me see how many I get rid of. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I feel pretty good about that, 16. And now I only have this like little smaller cure thing with all my face palettes and I feel like I will have a better time reaching for them when they're like this more visible and in the same place basically. That's basically this whole like declutter series. If I forgot anything, it's not deliberately. I'm trying to include everything in my collection, but there are some things that either are I haven't been hauled yet, haven't been reviewed yet, maybe I'm missing something, maybe it's in a different I'm doing the best I can. So if you for some reason think that I'm missing something, it's not deliberate. <laughs> It's not that I'm trying to avoid to show you something. I just missed it because it is a little bit of a mess in this room right now. But yeah, I, I will show you the uh, number of all the things that I have like decluttered when it comes to bronzers, uh, blushes and face palettes here. Big like round number right here. And I hope you don't forget to subscribe so that you can see when next episode is coming, which is gonna be highlighters and that's coming fairly soon as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye.